Hi guys, Andreas here and welcome to another video. So a couple of videos ago, I made a video explaining the different settings in picture profiles um, in Sony cameras using my Sony a7C as an example. And today what I'm gonna do is dive a little bit more into that, talking about the gamma and color modes this time. So uh, I won't take up too much of your time today. Let's just get straight into changing the settings on the camera and see what effect it has. So just like last time, our baseline is going to be picture profile one reset to its factory default settings. And we're going to start with just adjusting the gamma. Now, what you're looking at now is a gamma of movie and a color mode of movie as well. Uh, we're going to start changing the gammas now. So this is movie. This is still gamma with color mode still set to movie, by the way. This is Cine 1 Gamma. Now we're looking at Cine 1 Gamma. This is Cine 2 Gamma. Now you're looking at Cine 2 Gamma. This is what it looks like. This is Cine 3 Gamma. This is Cine 3 Gamma and what it looks like there. We're at Cine 4 Gamma now. This is Cine 4 Gamma. How does that look? Now we're at ITU 709. I have no idea what any of this means, but hey, how does it look? Next is ITU 709 800%, which seems to be overexposing everything. This is S log 2 gamma, S log 2. This is how it looks. A lot of people like this one, S log 3. Um, obviously, it needs to be color graded, but this is S log 3. HLG now, we're at HLG Gamma. This is what that looks like in camera. This is HLG 1. Now we're at HLG 1 Gamma. This is HLG 2. Now we're at HLG 2 Gamma. This is what that looks like. And finally, the last one, HLG 3. This is HLG 3 Gamma on the Sony a7C. How does that look? So that's it for the gamma. Next, we'll be looking at the different color modes. So let's check out color modes now. Uh, we've reset the gamma to the default of movie and we're just gonna be changing color mode on this. So this is movie color mode, which is the default on picture profile one. This is movie. This is still color mode. What does still color mode look like now? This is cinema color mode. Now you're looking at cinema color mode. This is pro color mode. This is what pro color mode looks like. This is ITU 709 matrix color mode. That's quite a mouthful. <laughs> Obviously you have your black and white color mode, which self-explanatory, it makes things black and white. This is S gamut color mode. This is S gamut color mode now. S gamut 3.cine. This is S gamut 3.cine. And finally, S gamut 3. This is what S gamut 3 looks like. So we're going to switch the gamma to still now, and we're going to go through the color modes again to see how still plus a given color mode works. So this is gamma still plus movie color mode. This is gamma still plus still color mode. This is gamma still plus cinema color mode. This is gamma still plus pro color mode. This is gamma still plus ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is gamma still plus black and white color mode. This is gamma still plus S gamut color mode. This is gamma still plus S gamut 3 dot cine color mode. This is gamma still plus S gamut 3 color mode. Now this is cine 1 gamma plus movie color mode. This is Cine 1 Gamma plus Still Color Mode. Cine 1 Gamma plus Cinema Color Mode now. This is what that looks like. 
This is Cine 1 Gamma Plus Pro color mode. This is Cine 1 Gamma Plus ITU 709 Matrix color mode. This is Cine 1 Gamma Plus Black and White color mode now. This is Cine 1 Gamma Plus S Gamut color mode. This is Cine 1 Gamma Plus S Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. And this is Cine 1 Gamma Plus S Gamut 3 color mode. This is Cine 2 Gamma with movie color mode now. This is Cine 2 plus still color mode. This is Cine 2 plus cinema color mode. This is Cine 2 plus pro color mode now. This is Cine 2 plus ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is Cine 2 plus black and white color mode. This is Cine 2 plus S gamut color mode. This is Cine 2 plus S gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. This is Cine 2 plus S gamut 3 color mode. Now we're looking at Cine 3 gamma plus movie color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus still color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus cinema color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus pro color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus black and white color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus S Gamut color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus S Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. This is Cine 3 Gamma plus S Gamut 3 color mode. This is one I know a lot of people on YouTube use. This is Cine 4 Gamma uh, and we're using movie color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus still color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus cinema color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus pro color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus black and white color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus S Gamut color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus S Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. This is Cine 4 Gamma plus S Gamut 3 color mode. Now we're at ITU 709 Gamma and we're starting again with movie. This is S ITU 709 Gamma and movie color mode. This is ITU 709 plus still color mode. This is ITU 709 gamma plus cinema color mode. This is ITU 709 gamma plus pro color mode. This is ITU 709 gamma plus ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is ITU 709 gamma plus black and white color mode. This is ITU 709 plus S gamut color mode. This is ITU 709 gamma plus S gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. And finally, this is ITU 709 gamma plus S gamut 3 color mode. Now I know it's overexposed, but uh, we're doing all the settings, so why not do this one? This is ITU 709 at 800% gamma with movie color mode. This is with still color mode, ITU 709 800% gamma. 
ITU 709 800% gamma with cinema color mode. This is ITU 709 800% with pro color mode. This is ITU 709 800% gamma with ITU 709 matrix color mode. This is ITU 709 800% gamma with black and white color mode. This is ITU 709 800% Gamma with S Gamut color mode. This is ITU 709 800% with S Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. And this is ITU 709 800% with S Gamut 3 color mode. And now we're on S Log 2 Gamma uh, paired with movie color mode. This is S-Log2 Gamma with still color mode now. This is S-Log2 Gamma with cinema color mode. This is S-Log2 Gamma with pro color mode now. This is S-Log2 Gamma with ITU709 matrix color mode. This is S-Log2 Gamma with black and white color mode. This is S-Log2 Gamma with S-Gamut color mode. This is S-Log2 Gamma with S-Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. And this is S-Log2 Gamma with S-Gamut 3 color mode. And here we are the last of the S-Logs, S-Log3 Gamma with movie color mode. This is S-Log3 Gamma with still color mode now. S-Log3 Gamma with cinema color mode. S-Log3 Gamma with pro color mode now. This is S-Log3 Gamma with ITU709 matrix color mode. This is S-Log3 Gamma with black and white color mode, as you probably guessed. This is S-Log3 Gamma with S-Gamut color mode. This is S-Log3 Gamma with S-Gamut 3 dot Cine color mode. This is S-Log3 Gamma with S-Gamut 3 color mode. Now when you get to the HLG Gammas, you only have two choices for color mode. So this is HLG Gamma with BT2020 color mode. And this is HLG Gamma with 709 color mode. This is HLG1 with BT2020 color mode. And this is HLG1 with 709 color mode. Next we have HLG2 Gamma with BT2020 color mode. And HLG2 Gamma with 709 color mode. This is what that looks like. And finally, we're at the end with HLG3 Gamma, this time using B2020 color mode. And HLG3 Gamma with 709 color mode is this one. So that about does it for going around all the color mode and gamma settings in the camera. Now, I'm gonna put everything side by side by side by side by side, a screen full of different things so that you guys can compare all of the combinations uh, possible together. Uh, find one that's right for you. Now, some of them require more color grading like S-Log and some of them require little to no color grading like Movie, for example. Uh, but, you know, choose what's best for you. Choose what looks good for you and works for your workflow. I know for me, uh, I'm still undecided whether I want to use picture profiles. Um, this is kind of one that I've set up that looks I don't know, relatively okay, I guess. Um, but I think I prefer the creative style. So in a future video, what I'm gonna do is the same thing, but going through all the creative styles and all the different settings in that menu item. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure to subscribe uh, to get notified once it comes out. So uh, I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope it helps you make your videos a little bit better than mine. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.